Oh guys, it's time for another critical earnings call for PayPal stock. And no, I'm not trying to be dramatic or anything else, but when a new management team comes in and, and basically turns the entire company upside down, these earnings calls are massive and absolutely critical to setting the tone on if this management team can execute to exactly what they say, or if the company is going nowhere and the stock is just dead. So let's talk about exactly what matters on this earnings and I'll give you my plan for PayPal stock, but I do have one giant concern that we're gonna discuss as well, and it's critical that you guys understand what it is. Just make sure you like the video if you like getting the truth without the hype. All right, so let's discuss my top three things I'm looking for on this earnings, and then we'll jump into everything else after that. So number one, is the turnaround on track to complete this year? So this one should be the easy one for us to find here on this earnings. We need to know, hey, are we still on track for everything Alex laid out for the entire year so far? Basically, we're halfway through. Are we on track or not with executing to that plan? Now, we've seen a lot of things kind of get started, but we don't know in terms of the progress how far they are along in that. So what I'm looking for on this earnings is for them to start giving us specifics. Hey, this project is going to clean up at about this time. This project's going to get going and actually start producing revenue, you know, by January of next year. Still on track for that. All those little timelines and kind of uh, details that they gave us at the beginning of the year, of course, after the first quarter, we're not really going to get a lot of detail outside of, hey, we think it's going well. We're still on progress. It's still moving. Hey, great. Now we're halfway through. You should be able to accurately forecast what is going to happen with those new projects, with the entire plan that Alex laid out at the beginning of the year. Are we on track to hit that towards the end of the year or not? Now, you may not get specifics on every project that they've run into or that they've started, excuse me, but we should be able to see what the progress is on several of those projects, especially the bigger ones that were supposed to drive those bottom line profits to PayPal stock. Are they on track to complete this year or not? So really listening to the verbiage and really getting into what they're going to say on this earnings. And then of course, if you don't listen to that particular piece, I got it. Hopefully some of the analysts will be the, some of the smarter analysts who will actually start to try to get timelines on those particular projects, try to get specifics if they don't give us specifics in the earnings comments at the very beginning there. So that right there should be something you should key in and look on because that will tell you, are they on track or not? If you're buying the stock, you're buying it for the turnaround potential. So it's critical that you know what's going on with that particular turnaround. Are we on track or off track? Number two, what is the impact of getting rid of low profit offerings for the rest of the year? So we know that they've started cutting some of those offerings already, but are they on track to get rid of all of them by the end of the year? Of course, that's the first piece kind of goes along with the first point there. But more importantly, what is the impact that they are seeing on the bottom line? Are we going to see the basically revenue slow for another quarter, we'll say, because they still have several of those to cut? Or have they cut all the low profit margin offerings that they have? So therefore we shouldn't see any more hits to revenue from that in the future. That right there is kind of an important distinction to make in regards to, are we gonna see revenue basically start to tick up from now? Or should we expect revenue growth to not necessarily start until the fourth quarter per se? That right there would be critical because we know this team, one of the things they wanted to get rid of was all the low profit margin or loss leading type, uh, you know, customers, products, Everything else that they have out there, agreements, they wanted to get rid of all those and basically focus on that bottom line profit. So where are we at in that process? And of course, the other piece to that is, is has there been any pushback from other vendors, maybe other agreements that you have out there? Are they seeing anything else, any other consequence that maybe they didn't tell us about at the beginning that they're now seeing on the other side there? I just put pushback as kind of the only thing I could think of that in regards to maybe um, a negative of cutting those sort of things. Are they seeing other sort of pushbacks in other areas that maybe they didn't expect? So something like that as well is kind of something I'm listening for. So on to the last thing that matters here. And this one right here is going to determine the price of the stock in the short term, guys. This one right here is the one that's going to be critical in regards to moving the stock either up or back down, which kind of seems like that's what happens to us. This last point is critical to that, which we've actually been discussing earnings daily, every single day, all kinds of different earnings there. They're getting earnings recaps. We've been listening to them in real time. We've been doing all sorts of other things like that in my group where the earnings flash sale is live. And especially with big tech earnings going on this week, I basically have like 10, 12 different earnings calls to listen to this week alone. But you guys will get all my thoughts in there real time in the group, be able to ask me anything about it. Of course, they'll be able to take the five courses, use our stock analyzer tool, get your free coaching. Guys, there's so much involved in the group. Make sure you check out the pinned comment and take advantage of the earnings flash sale before it ends. If you want to be able to discuss all these earnings with me anytime you want, either on our Q&As, 
You can jump in our Discord, slide into my DMs, whatever you need to do there. That right there is where you get that information. So make sure you check out the pinned comments. All right, so on to the last point. Is EPS guidance on track better or worse than expected? He has told us from the start, they're focusing on profitability and less on customer growth at all costs and a lot of other things like that that the prior management team did. So we need to know, we need to hear, are we on track for that or not? Because the bottom line is, Wall Street cares about profits in the end. So he's speaking their language, but we need to know, what are we expecting for EPS by the end of the year? Are we on track to hit that number more importantly? And is it actually going better than expected or is it actually not going as well? Guys, this right here is the one that I feel is going to move the stock the most. If we get some good news on this, this could be that catalyst to finally get some of the larger Wall Street players to start buying into PayPal and to start turning the ship around. If we get something that's like, oh, that's a little tougher than we thought. Uh, we're not sure we're going to hit EPS estimates this year. The growth is going a little bit slower in terms of the profitability side. That right there could spell, I won't call it disaster because the stock's already beaten down, but we're definitely going to continue this downward trend and this basically feeling like we're going nowhere for an extended period of time until they get that turned around. And that more importantly, would be kind of a huge black eye on the management team where that has been their focus this whole time, you know, basically for six plus months now, that's been their focus. And to not see the kind of progress that we thought they were going to have, of course, is going to kind of be a black eye on the stock there. So that's why this is the most important to me. And that's why that is basically where the vast majority of my focus is on is on that number. I can live with a lot of the other things being good or bad. And of course, no earnings is perfect, good all the way around. But this one right here is the one that I'm queuing in on. And more importantly, big institutional money. Now, traders will do whatever the heck they want. They'll trade it however the heck they want. They'll be done. They'll be traders, whatever. I, don't, I ignore all those guys. But in terms of the big money, the institutional players who probably used to own PayPal <laughs> a while ago to get them to buy back into the stock, we've got to have this number moving in the right direction and some good guidance to go along with that. So what is my big concern with PayPal stock? Well, this is going to sound stupid and dumb and it's going to sound short-sighted too, which of course it's Wall Street, whatever the case is, we all know that they're short-sighted and dumb. But in regards to PayPal, I'm afraid that despite everything Alex has said, despite him telling you where his focus is, which is on profitability, all those other things like that, they've essentially told you exactly what they're going to do. I'm afraid Wall Street is going to continue to focus on stupid things like customer count. When they've already said, we're cutting a lot of our customers because they're not making us any money. They're losing us money. But you know, customer count is kind of a metric that mattered a whole heck of a lot in the early 2000s and 2010 or so. And it doesn't matter as much now as it does bottom line profits but you still have plenty on Wall Street who are focused on metrics like that, which I agree the prior management team made those a really high priority. They made those a big deal. Look at how much we're growing customer base. Look at how many users we're bringing in while well, profitability was going down and down and down and down because it was actually costing them money to bring on more customers. We all know that's a terrible business model over the long run, but yet it's a metric, especially with FinTech, that seems to be really, really important to a lot of folks who haven't kind of changed with the times and understood that it's not necessarily just grow customers at all costs. We're not in that sort of environment anymore, but you have plenty on Wall Street who still think that. So if we see customer you know, profitability go up, but you know, customer count go down, that right there could be a situation where Wall Street gets dumb and focuses on the customer count going down instead of the profitability going up. Now, long-term, will that matter? Absolutely not. But in the short term, it could cause a lot of pain for the stock. So that's kind of my big fear around this particular earnings is that that right there is going to be the focus of Wall Street is customer count and not what I care about is profitability and are we on track to hit those profitability goals. So what is my plan for PayPal stock? Well, you guys know, I already have a ton. I probably have too much. It's just one of those things. I will watch the earnings. I don't think there's going to be anything in here that sways me one way or another um, in regards to just thinking it's blow it out of the, unless we have blow it out of the water, EPS numbers and wall street beats it down again or whatever. I'm going to be, okay, I'm going to be forced to add again. But you know, every time I post it, I say, I hate it. I hate PayPal stock, but it continues to be one of the best deals on the stock market right now from a valuation perspective. And so that right there is something that that's kind of my plan for. Now, if there's a really, really bad number there, like, Hey, EPS, we just can't figure out how to turn it around. Of course, then at that stage, you may have to consider um, selling out of the stock because now the actual fundamentals of PayPal are breaking down. But we have not been seeing that in terms of earnings. The fundamentals have not been breaking down. They have been getting better. However, what we haven't been getting better is the share price yet, which of course is to our advantage as long-term buy and hold investors. But like many of you guys out there, I already own all the shares that I want. So I don't really need to add any more. So 
I don't really think I'll be adding some this stage unless we get some sort of a crazy, you know, high EPS number, Wall Street gets dumb. Outside of a scenario like that, I'm not sure I'll add any more at this stage. Maybe one buy more, maybe a couple buys more, but that may be it at that stage. I keep saying that, but you know, it kind of keeps happening to me as it stays beaten down for longer and longer. And remember, if you want to see all those buy and sell alerts in real time, you want my complete watch list with price targets, you want to be able to talk to me about earnings, get my earnings reviews in real time, watch earnings calls live with me, and so much more, guys. Make sure you check out the pinned comment down there for the earnings flash sale that's going on right now, where you get all that, plus five free courses, plus free coaching, free access to the stock analyzer tool, the best six, seven, and eight figure discord out there. Guys, there's so much involved in the group. Make sure you check out the pinned comment, see if a membership's right for you. And click this video here if you wanna see exactly what I'm buying in this market. And click here to see my exact plan for this market. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.